Now, I want to go over with you guys why I'm seen as such a threat and why I believe that my targeting 2020 was a great year for me. But I guess for um, these people that are gang stalking me, I keep telling them they're saying 2020 was the worst year. It was horrible. I had a great year. I was out here doing all kind of stuff, building stuff out here in nature, and I loved it. And they're doing everything they can to now disrupt me in nature. Now, here's one of the things I built. I built uh, two primitive stone ovens. And I built it, I built this all by myself. Like, it was my first time ever even doing something like this. I just randomly just, like, did it. And, uh, you know, I ended up, um, baking some, um, tostadas in it. And I didn't have all the pizza stuff, so I, I, yeah, I baked some tostadas, and, like, this shit came out perfectly. Perfectly, perfectly. But they do so much to censor me, like on my on my channel so you know they do that and all that but uh yeah this is why I'm seen as such a threat because when you can go into nature and you can build an oven and you can actually build an oven I mean I'm talking these tostadas are crunchy like I pizza crunchy like everything works when you can go into nature and build something for free oh my god you have no idea how mad this makes these demons this really, really makes these demons very, very, very mad. Now, I went ahead. I, I did a lot. I built a fish trap. Uh, I built this from the ground up. Um, it Unfortunately, it did not end up working out. I didn't catch any fish in it, but it still is skills that I've got out here. And I decided to get out here and do. And they're th I bet they think, how dare this girl leave California, leave the city with no survival skills at all? How dare her get out here, get a survival book and learn survival on her own? How dare I? How dare I begin to build these shelters? How dare I do all of this? How dare I take a knife from okay, Walmart guys, so I fixed up that spear. and make a spear? Um, I wanted to make sure that it's very, very sharp. So I figured using a knife will guarantee the sharpness so that when it goes in the water, the wood won't get soggy. Like So I was going to go ahead and just show you guys why I'm seen as such a threat. Good old-fashioned spear here. You guys, I did it. My second time spear fishing, I got it. Man, today is a happy day. We're going to be eating good today. Lemon juice and butter on this. Woo, I am so happy. So guys, this was simple and easy. It's gonna be my new way to fish. I love it. Uh, just 98 cents Walmart knife. Just attach it to some wood, tie it up. Boom, you got you a good spear. You know, and I had to realize, I had to look at this all and I had to realize why am I being targeted so badly? Why has my target? So this was back a year ago. Now within a year, after all this, after I've done all this, they've went ahead and worked to just completely, completely just destroy me. This is my second primitive stone oven I built. They went ahead and actually went to where I built this oven and broke it down to pieces. But, you know, I don't give a fuck. I, I don't give a fuck. I built some bagel bites in that one day. And, um, yeah, they, they really cannot stand me. They cannot stand me at all. I built two Quincy's, two of these snow shelters. And it, this was all my first and time I ever doing this stuff. Wow. Okay, so let's get inside. Just gonna lay down some tarp first. So. so this was all, and this was the big Quincy I built. I built a big Quincy here and Hi spent guys. the night. So today's a big day. I'm getting ready to move everything from my tent into the Quincy I made. So I'm really... Some decor that I got from, yeah, when I worked at Dollar Tree. <laughs> so I built a Quincy oh, shelter. That's so sweet. I love being surrounded by ice. I don't know. This is cool. So I'm, I'm loving it. Um, yeah, the snow, it's snowing right now. It's coming down pretty good. So, um, yeah, I'm just chilling cozy in here. <laughs> I even built a certain section of the Quincy where I could build a fire and eat. You know, I could cook up some hot dogs. I was able to eat up in there. I, I mean, I had the best year, right, like the best year show. ever. I got my hot dogs made. And they are so mad. Uh, I don't have a paper they towel. are so mad at this. How dare, how dare this black woman leave this matrix 
How dare this black woman come out here and and know how to survive and know what the fuck she's doing when she just came straight from the city? How dare I? How fucking dare I? I went ahead out here. I gather some nettles. I gather like all my food out here in nature. I gather nettles. I gather that. I made some chicken. Just trying to kind of scroll through these videos real quick. Um, Let me get to the where I was foraging. Yeah, I was out here foraging. I do foraging. I get my own herbs and all this kind of stuff. Like this stuff they hate because, okay, I get all my own medicine from the earth. They don't like that. They don't like me gathering and gathering juniper and herbs and all these different things. They can't stand that. They can't stand that I did this 14 or that really started them to gang stalking me. And, um, yeah, you know, I'm just out here just learning yeah, things as I go on my own. I want to show you guys what I got this is the star fire, star how you can fire. cook a fire. And, I um, to finally try out. I really yeah, wanted to try this. And this fire like so I just kind of wanted to just make this well, video to just go over exactly what I'm going through and that I decided as a homeless person that I did not want to stay in California and be homeless in California anymore. And just staying in California and nothing changing, nothing, no, no growth, nothing. I was just laying in a bed all day at my mom's. I came out here and did all this and they are so mad. They just are doing everything they can to ruin my life because I, I did all of this. I built a bow and arrow. I even, you know, I tried to build a fire bow and drill. I still need to learn how to like build a fire on its own, but they just cannot stand this. And I'm just letting y'all know when you know how to survive and they see this and they see you that you know that you have survival skills and and can survive out into nature and can build your own oven and build shit into nature. Oh, my gosh. You this they will target you so bad. They will target you so bad. So, guys, I just want to go ahead and share this and share exactly what what um i'm about and what i've been doing out here in nature i've had motherfuckers accuse me of being on awesome. drugs I'm gonna do I'm gonna try to just find all kind of shit they're accusing me of just all this stuff that's not even true that i've got here you know and then um after that we're gonna try it out Extra point, extra point. So I just look at this and I just had to look back and see I'm and realize and really think so of why I'm being targeted I'm so badly. You know, so I made a arrow quiver, down. a little quill for my arrows. And but, um, you know, I haven't done much of this stuff in a long time because they keep gang stalking me so bad and gang stalking me and gang stalking me. So I haven't gotten to do like a lot of this stuff. I didn't get to do um, this next year because they all decided hey we see she's happy here we're all gonna come from california and fuck everything up that's what they decided to do so i just wanted to go ahead and share um this and share when you're when you can survive poo man they just cannot stand this and yeah they're doing everything see i don't i don't really get much views so um on this but um you know I think they just really just don't like it. And I know my dad just started telling me to come home. And it's like, why the fuck would I come home? Like, why would I come back to California for nothing and to not accomplish shit and to just sit in a fucking bed all day in a city? No, like, no, I'm out here. I actually have learned stuff on my own, how to to survive in nature and all this shit, all this. So, you know, I just wanted to share this and let you guys know that, um, you know, if you can take time to practice survival and learn survival on your own, I definitely guarantee to try it. Um, it, it definitely is worth it. And um, yeah, you may be targeted harder, I might be targeted I more, wood, but dry wood on the um, bottom first. You know, then I they, put this, yeah, and then I light it, and then I put some. So this is uh what I, I kept out here in the winter. I had a here. I little shelter I built up. Oh, wait, I'm trying to get to that fire. part. I tried to not burn this one, but. This was like my favorite camping trip. I will not forget this day. My battery ended up dying from it being so cold. I had to like get a jump, but oh my God, this was like the best. I was camping and I love how cold it is up in the mountains. Like I love that kind of cold out here in the desert. It's a different kind of cold, but um, yeah, pretty much when they see, and also a lot of men are targeting me because they feel that for some reason I I know it's my dad mostly too and it's some men it's not all men but it's some men that are targeting me that feel like oh my god like how dare her or something like that I think too so um you know I I just did all this because I know that something is coming I know that something is coming and it's important to know how to survive 
So, um, yeah, that's my little lean-to shelter I made. I made that all by hand. Everything I made by hand. Everything. And I'm making this video also to show everybody that we need to always stay prepared and be prepared. So I hope you guys all enjoyed my video. I hope you guys all have a good day. And I just wanted to share why I'm being targeted so bad, most likely. <laughs>